Hello everyone, welcome to my 15th part of my Gary's Model with tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over waypoints and using the two screen function to accomplish this. So to begin, uh, I just have a HUD paint set up. So this is a 2D rendering context and it's just called waypoint example. And I'm drawing a white box on the center of the screen, which you can see here. So I'm inside the bank here. Um, I want to go ahead and draw this box. Let's say for example, right here. So to do that, what I need to do is uh, say get pause. So we're going to return my current position. Then we're going to go into here and we're going to create a vector. And this will be waypoint. And we'll we just say waypoint A. And we'll say, I uh, will create a vector here. So we'll say vector, pass in this, clean up this because you don't really need these decimal values. And go ahead and save this. Now, I'm going to go ahead, instead of drawing at the center of the screen, I'm going to draw at waypoint a dot x to return the x value inside this vector and then waypoint uh, a dot y to return the y position and i noticed i just cut off one of the sides so i'm going to fix that so now this should draw hopefully at the center where i was but you can notice it is nowhere to be found and the reason for that is because it is referencing a uh, three-dimensional world space and what we need to do is convert it into two-dimensional world space so to do that what we can say here is we can say waypoint a equals waypoint a to screen this might work we might actually need to do it in the hud paint we'll find out i haven't done it this way yeah that's not going to work so what we'll say is we'll actually create this inside the hud paint here and we shall go right here and we're going to convert that vector by doing two screen. So now if we go in game, you can see we have this little box here that is drawing. This is two dimensional. And uh, so it kind of size is weird and unproportionally. So we might need to count for distance to determine the size and perhaps clamp that down. Uh, that's something I'm gonna do real quick. So I'm gonna say uh, local dist and we'll say 200 squared. And the reason why I'm doing 200 squared is because we're going to perform a distance check uh, using squared values. And it's nice to pre-cache it outside the HUD paint. So what we can do here is we can say uh, up here, if local player, we'll say get pos, and then we'll do dist to square. And then uh, this will return the distance to a certain position and we'll pass in uh, waypoint A is less than the distance, the maximum that we listed up here, which is 200 world units. Then we'll go ahead and draw it. Otherwise, we're not going to draw it. And we can save that. So now you can see when we get within a certain range, it'll draw this. We can actually make this a little bit better and by perhaps adding in some transparent colors here. Um, and then we could even go ahead and center it correctly by offsetting by the size of our box. And we could add uh, a little thingy here. This is bank. We could do waypoint a dot x, waypoint a dot y. We want a white color. And then we'll do uh, text align center, text align center. And I also forgot the font for the second argument. This is going to be a string, but this return, this function here returns a string of the font that is relative to um, the screen size. So now you can see it says bank. And now we have a little waypoint that says that. We could have, uh, for example, let's say if you want to draw out all the players on the map, instead of doing waypoint A, what we could do is we could loop over every single player by doing 4 kvm pairs, player.get all, say do, and we're going to repeat this for every single player that is on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of waypoint A, and I'm going to say uh, local pos equals vget pos. So this is going to return the player's current position, and then we're going to two screen it like we did, say two screen. And now everywhere where we have waypoint A, I'm going to, uh, actually let me move this up so I can include the distance check up there. Um, I'm going to replace that with pos. So now it'll be referencing the player's pos. And then I can do also one more thing and I can say um, if v equals local player, then return in. That way we don't draw, or not, not return in, because we want to continue. Um, that way we won't draw a waypoint for ourselves. And then instead of bank, we could return the player's name. 
and we could draw that and let's actually increase the distance real quick to like 4,000 and we shall add in some bots real quick. I think I might have the many bots. I do. Okay. And for some reason, I don't see anything for them. Why is that? So we have if V equals local player, then continue and local pos equals V get pos, pos to screen. Oh, 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 it's because I think it's because we're doing the distance check with the position that's been converted already. So we need to do the distance check perhaps with the correct one. No, what is going on here? V equals local player. Is it this? Perhaps? Nope. Pos two screen. Pos x, pos y. Ah. That should be working. What seems to be the issue? Oh! <laughs> I'm calling pos two screen, but I'm not actually doing anything with it. So I could do local pos, or no, not local pos. Uh, pos equals pos two screen. That should fix it. There we go. Sorry guys, I was just having a little bit of a brain fart there. So now you can see we have um, essentially a little bit of a ESP so where we can see all the players. So you can do it with any basic position. You can do it with a player's position. Uh, all you need to do is convert it to two dimensional uh, by using two screen. So yeah, that'll uh, wrap up this tutorial guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, take care.